Yeah, damn. Oh, well, we didn't do that, but... <laughs> well, as you just saw, we unlocked the Chimera, or the Honey Badger, whatever the hell you want to call it. Oh my god, what is this? And even though we don't have Orion yet, we are able to get it polyatomic, so that's what we're going to do. And there goes 50 kills. There goes 20 hip fire. There's 10 double kills, and we just need 13 more kills from behind. See, now, these aren't that bad of challenges, but they're also pretty stupid fucking challenges. And that unlocks gold! They or I guess there's gold. The other one was the gold challenges. So we had to hop into tier one. Well, I guess we didn't have to, but we hopped into tier one for the long shots because you can't get them on shipment, at least not with an AR. So yeah, platinum's done. Now all we need is, I just bit my fucking tongue. Now all we need is 25 headshots. All right, what is this? Hard point? Polytomic and one game watch. I bet $900 million. 20 out of 25. I mean, we would have got it, but for whatever reason, they decided to keep fucking lethals in shipment, lethals in score streaks and kill streaks. Like what, what, what the fuck? What? I mean, I don't even, I don't. One, two, three, god damn, four, five. The polytomic? <laughs> so, yeah, Chimera's done, or the honey badger, whatever you want to call it. I don't remember the honey badger, so I'm just going to call it the Chimera. To go through all the camos, here's the first one we get for 50 kills, which is called charcoal, which is, I mean, it's not bad, it's just a blacked out flat paint job camo whatever <laughs> i'm pretty sure there's one kind of like this but maybe it's a little bit lighter like a bit more gray whereas this is more of like a flat black color but yeah this is charcoal again this is the first one for getting 50 kills the next one is aztec and this is for getting 20 hip fire kills i mean this one's not bad either it's kind of like a fall camo with like a digital camo pattern i don't know if i would ever use this but again it's not it's not a terrible camo the third one is diabolical and this is for getting 10 double kills and this is this is a top tier camo if you ask me i think we've seen this before or at least something very similar to it but it's interesting that the camouflage pattern is a bunch of hexagons again i don't know where i feel like i've seen this before or something similar to it but yeah this is definitely one of the better base camos and then the final base camo is the snow leopard which is for getting i think 15 kills from behind 15 kills in the butt and i mean at first i thought this was kind of like a chrome tiger ish like in the gunsmith or at least my gunsmith it looks almost more like platinum or like chrome but here in game it's more white than chrome so i guess yeah, Snow Leopard's pretty pretty accurate. I mean, it's not... I, I probably would never use this. If you ask me, this is the worst Chimera of camo, which, again, there's only four of them, so it doesn't even really matter, but yeah, there's Snow Leopard, or, uh, yeah, Snow Leopard. And then for the Masteries, here's Gold. I mean, Gold is pretty self-explanatory. We got this shiny, metallic mustard. <laughs> but no, there's really nothing to say about it. Gold looks really good in this game, especially if you turn your textures up a little bit. I don't know if mine are turned up or if, like, the patch reset them or whatever, but it looks good to me, so. Next up is Platinum, which, you know, kind of the same thing with gold in this game like they definitely both look really good but once you get the camo above it you almost never go back to use this or at least me personally there's really no point aside from in this game going back and getting your mastery calling card challenges or whatever but even then it's either 100 or 200 kills and then last but not least because we sadly don't have orion even though polyatomic is better looking than orion anyway but yeah here's polyatomic if you ask me this should have been the ultimate mastery camo instead of orion because this is just i know orion's animated and whatever but polyatomic just looks clean and now speaking of just to kind of show you the progress here is where i'm at in the orion grind uh if you want this website i don't know if you can see it but it's orion.emca.app app i'm not affiliated or paid by this or whatever but this is just much better to do than the spreadsheets like the google sheets that go around pretty quick on uploads too because i mean granted the base camo icons aren't here yet but chimera is already up and functional as you can tell and literally all you do is go through and instead of clicking off or like checking off an excel sheet once you get done one you just click it off and then once you do gold it'll turn gold platinum it'll turn platinum and then poly it'll turn purple and as you can see down here if we uncheck this, it tracks the percentage completion for Orion. So now we're 91.15% done Orion. As you can see here, all of the ARs are platinum, with the exception of obviously the Chimera and the Cast Off. And the only reason the Cast Off is polyatomic and not platinum is because, and this might be different now with the, the 
patch out. But I was going to go through and unlock platinum on the 74U, the 545, and the M13. But for whatever reason, I'm assuming because I unlocked polyatomic, it kind of like skipped platinum. And for the cast off, it wasn't counting the long shots, but it was counting the headshots. So I just went ahead and finished it because I was already at like 12 out of 25 headshots because I was playing tier one to try to get long shots because the 74U, not really good at range. So that's why we have that. Obviously, we're going to go through and finish platinum if it allows us, which I would assume it. I don't, who knows? Maybe it's bugged. And then the only two gold we have left are the 545 and the M13, which again, we'll go through and get platinum and obviously polyatomic. We're going to 100% it. Battle rifles are all platinum. Submachine guns are all platinum, including the the Bass P shotguns are all platinum. LMGs, platinum. Martian rifles, obviously, you can see. We started working on polyatomic, but then again, the Chimera came out, so obviously, we're gonna do the Chimera first. Only two more Martian rifles to go. These are really easy to do, especially with shipment, because because it's shipment. As you just saw with the Chimera, depending on how the game goes, you can probably get your 25 headshots in it, like a game, maybe a little bit more. I know the SPR and I think the Lockwood I got done in one game. The LMS kind of sucks, so that took like three, I think. But then again, it was also like, I don't know. I don't remember, to be honest. But we have the SAB and the TAC M to do for the Marston rifles, and then we're done with that. All the sniper rifles, including the Victus, are polyatomic. All of the handguns are polyatomic, which ironically, I did these this morning before the update came out, before shipment came out, which kind of sucks, but I was kind of afraid that the Snake Shot and the Desert Eagles will get nerfed. So I just ran around Shoot House and got all the headshots for them. I think these are only, yeah, these are only 20 headshots. Oh, and it shows you what you need and what level. So like for this one, level two, you need 50 kills. Level six, you need 50 kills while ADS, so on, so forth. Hand guns are done the launchers are done believe it or not i mean obviously the joker i don't know if you if you watch my youtube short uploaded before this the joker has like a glitch where you can kind of hip fire it which makes it significantly easier i don't know if they patched it or not again i wanted to get this done before they did patch it because this would just be a complete pain in the ass but aside from that the strella was actually probably the most annoying one again it's probably much easier now the shipment's out the pila wasn't too bad but the joker with the glitch is definitely a joke no pun intended god damn it and the rpg again is actually not bad at all and we have both made the polyatomic we did these both in I mean, we had a couple points before shipment came out, but obviously it's significantly easier to do these with shipment. These are both uh, kills from behind, 10 kills and 20 kills from behind. The right shield actually, I don't know what tracks as from behind, obviously like a backstab almost, but nothing pops up that lets you know that you got a backstab. But I feel like the ride shield, I don't know if it's bugged or whatever, or if it's just easier than I think it is, but this actually tracked pretty quickly. I thought this was going to take a lot longer than it did, but it took like probably two, three games of shipment. And again, it's annoying because nothing pops up that says like backstab or, or something that lets you know that you actually actually got one but so yeah now that the chimera is done we're going to finish out the marksman rifles and then it should be pretty easy from here on out i wouldn't be surprised if we have orion this weekend again i feel like for most of these i could probably get polyatomic done in one game so even if on average it's two games like that's kind of a joke and keep in mind we don't need all of these polyatomic we only need 51 and there's already four dlc guns i'm probably going to get everything polyatomic and orion but yeah we technically don't need to i also find it funny and this is kind of like a off topic not off topic. I find it funny that for the camo pop-up, I don't know if I addressed this in one of the clips. I find it funny that for the camo pop-up, they went through the trouble of putting the camo description, like the challenge description, but they didn't put the icon. So for example, if I were to get 10 double kills with the M13, the little icon will pop up and it'll say 10 double kills, but it'll be the default little ribbon and not the field ops camo icon, which is what we all, we don't really care to know which one. I mean, it does help to see which one we got done, which is something that should have been implemented to begin with. At least for me personally, I'd rather see what the camo is that I unlocked, even though we already kind of know what it is but it's just nice to have it as like a clip for the content to be like oh look boom here's polyatomic but instead we get oh here's the same generic fucking ribbon and then 25 headshots that's gonna be it for this video though if you want click one of these videos here or click on my face to subscribe i don't even know if this will work because it's the first time i'm doing it but yeah click one of them i'm 37x thank you for watching now get off me